हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सीएसआर नेट मैथमेटिक्स जुलाई 2024 टुडे बेस्ड ऑन योर रिक्वेस्ट आई विल अपलोड द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द मार्कोव चेन व्हिच रिलेटेड टू द पार्ट सी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन फॉलो माय YouTube चैनल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द टू डिफरेंट प्लेलिस्ट वन फॉर द प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट यू कैन सी द वेरियस लेक्चर रिलेटेड टू द मल्टीवेरिएट मार्कोव चेन मैक्सिमल लाइक्लीहुड एस्टीमेटर एंड कंप्लीट स्टैटिस्टिक्स पोर्शन अवेलेबल फॉर दिस CSR net gate and the IIT jab solutions there is a one more playlist called as the CSR UGC net in this playlist you can see all about the mathematical solutions and the solution of the july 2024 complete solution all these lecture i have uploaded with the help of the shortcut tricks you must subscribe my youtube channel and follow it so that you will get more confidence in your examinations now you can see this question id is 704105 and it is related to the part c you will get a 4.75 marks easily based on this question and believe me this question is one of the easiest one you can easily solve this question within the within a 1 minute or 1 to 2 minutes fine how you can solve this within a 1 or 2 minutes if you already watch my these three lectures which are available at my youtube channel then you can easily discard the option how let's see you can note down the time periods i will solve this quickly for you fine first of all uh, i i will explain you this question with the detail analysis what is the meaning of the detail analysis i will tell you the three to four different methods how you can solve this question fine now remember student they are question asking about the recurrent transient recurrent and transient if you remember my shortcut tricks how you can check about the transient state which i have explained in these lectures first of all if p i j always look about the column wise fine always look about the column wise if p i j is my non zero and p i sorry p j i if p j i is my zero then that column state is my transient fine This is the first shortcut trip for you. Second shortcut trip. If P I I is non one and other elements of the column is my zero, then that column is also called as transient state. Fine. Always remember when you check about this condition, you have to skip the P I I elements. Now look at the first. I can check about the state 2 what is the state 2 this is the 2 comma 2 that's a diagonal you can skip that this number what is the position of this number is p 3 comma 2 which is non zero what is the value of the p 2 comma 3 2 3 which is zero and it satisfied this property so that means this state 2 is my transient state fine now look about the third column all the values are zero except at the diagonal position p 3 3 which is my non one and all the elements of that column is zero so that means 3 is also my transient state fine look about the zero column this is the diagonal element you can skip that what is the next number is p 1 0 which is my one which is a non zero basically and what about the zero one zero one is my again Non zero, but it is not satisfied. So that means zero is my recurrent state. That means it is not a transient state. Similarly, look about this. Again, all the elements are zero. What about the zero one? It is my non zero. And what about the one zero, which is again non zero? So that means one is not transient. One is not transient. That means one is recurrent state. Fine. so how many second you are needed to check this maximum of the 15 second now look at that zero is recurrent possible but now what is positive also three is transient yes fine state one is recurrent fine state two is recurrent that's wrong fine so you can see that within the 15 second you can discard the fourth option and get the second right answer now how you can check about the first and third okay one more method this is a one method you can check about the transient and recurrent one more method because as i told you i will give you the detail analysis of this i will tell you the three to four different methods draw the transition diagram 
0 to 0, 0 to 1, you can possible, 1 to 0, yes, it is possible, 2 to 0, yes, it is possible, 2 to 1, not possible, 2 to 2, yes, possible, 2 to 3 is not possible. Then 3 to 2 is possible and 3 to 3 is possible. Fine. Now clearly say this 0, 1 is my is my clause is a terminating class right or otherwise there is no need to think about that now can you check about the zero is the transient state or not or zero is the recurrent state if you leave from the zero like zero to this side is it possible to come back to the zero through any other way yes you can go from the zero to one and one to zero that means zero is my recurrent state Fine. Now look at the one. Is it possible if you go from the one and come back to the one? Yes, it is possible also. One is the recurrent state. Two. If you leave from the two like in this manner, is it possible you can come back at the two? Not possible. So that means two is my transient state. Make sure this is not the leaving. This is the self loop. You have to think about without the self loop. Look at the third. If you leave from the three in this way, is it possible that you can come back to the 3 through any way? No. That means 3 is also my transient. So if you look about this manner, then again 3 is my transient, right option. 2 is my recurrent, that's a wrong option. Fine. This is the second method. Third method, how you can check about the transient, recurrent and others. Fine. Uh, if you have any doubt up to the two methods, you can let me know in the comment box. Third method. How you can check about the transient state and the recurrent state? You can find the probability of the returning positions. F i i of n. If this value is my 1, then you can call as the recurrent. If this value is my less than 1, then you call as the transient. Fine. Now let's start with this one. First of all, what is that? Like, let's see 3. Is it possible that you can come back from the 3 to 3 in a one step? Yes, this is the probability. What is the 3 comma 3 is? 3 over 5. Is it possible that you can come back from 3 to 3 in the two step? No, because if you leave them, probability is 0. Similarly, it is not possible that you can come back in the nth step. That is whenever n is greater than or equal to 2. So what is the value of the f? 2, 2. If you add them, that is a 3 over 5, which is less than of the 1. That means 3 is my transient state. Fine. So again, the second option is the correct option. Now, if you look about the f of 2, 2, is it possible that you can come back from that 2 to 2 in the one step? Yes, the self loop will be there. Probability is 1 over 3. Is it possible that you can come back from that 2 to 2 in the two step periods? One step you can go and you are unable to come back. Similarly, you can see 2, 2 up to the end step, it is not possible. And what is the value of the F2, 2? That means if you add them, if you add them, it will be my 1 over 3, which is strictly less than 1. So that means again, 2 is my transient. So fourth option is cancel. Fine. Now, how you can check about the recurrent? I can see about the 1, 1. Is it possible that you can come back from the one to one in a one step? No. Is it possible that you can come back from the one to one in the two step? Yes. From one to zero and zero to one. This value is one over one and this is three over four. So the answer is three over four. Is it possible that you can come back from the one to one in the three step periods? Yes. One and this is my self loop. And then this case. So it is my three over 16. Is it possible that you can come back up to the four time periods? Yes, you can move two times the self loop. So that will be three over 64 and so on. So what will be your F11? So that will be the zero, three over four, three over 16, three over 64, up to infinite many times because of the self loop. Now clearly say this is a geometric series. So what is the G GP series sum? A over one minus R. So you can see, the answer is 1. So once is exactly 1, it's a recurrent state. 
right similarly you can check about the zero is it possible that you can come back from the zero to zero in the one step yes is it possible that you can come back from the zero to zero in the two step yes you can go back to this and this is it possible that you can come back from the zero to zero in the three step no because once you go one step two step you already achieve that that's a zero so what will be the sum of this it is again one so one is also the recurrence i hope up to so far you have understood clearly so i have tell you the different method you check about the transient and the recurrence fine now the only thing is you need to check whether it's a positive or not positive okay what is the a uh, periodic what is the meaning of the a periodic if the gcd of these time periods is my one then you can say it is a periodic look at that state one this is my state one this is my finite probability this is my finite probability this is my finite probability what is the gcd of their time periods 2 3 4 5 and so on what is the gcd of this it is my one that means yes it is a a periodic so yes this option is the correct option recurrent is correct a periodic correct now we only need to check about the periodicity fine how you can check about the uh, positive positive is again a very very simple you have to compute the expected mean if this value if this value is my finite then you can say it's a recurrent if this value is my infinite then you can say it is a it is a null but null recurrent fine this is my null recurrent if it is finite then we call as the positive recurrent what is the formula for the x mu i i that's again a very simple that is n into f i i of n fine now because i have to write everything in the in the board but if once you are in the examination there is no need to write anything now you can see that firstly i can check about the zero zero whether zero is a positive you can see that this time period is my one so n is one one into one over four plus two into three over four plus three into zero plus four into zero and so on so what will be the answer one over four 6 over 4 that is a 7 over 4 which is finite so once is a finite that means zero is my positive recurrent so that means first option is the correct option fine one is a positive recurrent now now we will do the same thing for the first that is for this pair so 1 into 0 is a 0 plus 2 into this i can say 2 into 3 over 4 Fine. Three into three over sixteen plus four into three over sixteen and so on. Fine. Now that's over. Fine. We will check whether it's a infinite or not. I call this is my say s. Do you remember which series is this? I can write for you again. It's a two into three over four, three into three over sixteen. 4 into 3 over 16 and so on so clearly say this is my arithmetic geometric series because this quantity this value this value are my gp series and the coefficients are my ap series so how you can solve that what is the common ratio of the gp it is my 1 over 4 fine i can multiply both side by 1 over 4 so this number will be my 3 over 16 i can write into this part if i multiply this number by 1 over 4 is a 3 over 16 so 3 into 3 over 16 and so on now you can subtract them it is my 1 minus 1 over 4 times of the s this value is my 2 into 3 over 4 if you subtract them 1 into 3 over 16 it is 1 into 3 over sorry it is a 64 3 into 64 fine it is a 3 into 64 So three into sixty-four. Similarly, next term is three over sixty-four into four, and so on. So what will be the result of that? Now you can clearly say, up these terms are my GP. So I can write this is my six over four infinite terms of the GP. So a over one minus r. So what is the answer of this? Left hand side is my three over four into s. 
the right hand side is my 3 over 2 plus this number will be my 3 over 4 it is my 1 over 4 so that will be my 7 over 4 3 over 4 into s so s will be my 7 over 3 so clearly say this number is my finite once this number is my finite yes this is a positive recurrent so third option is also correct option right answers are a b and c are my correct answer of this problem you can see that once you are watching my these three lectures if you still not watch them you must watch it i already explained this with the help of the shortcut tricks and you can see that based on this simple shortcut tricks i can get the answers in a very simple manner so i have explained you in the detailed way but in your examination you can get your recurrent easily by using the diagonals column wise position and for the positive recurrent you can easily check about that simple way. i hope you can understand my this lectures i hope you can also like and comment on this video as well if you get a like and comment on this video i will definitely upload my next video on the statistics till then you can like share and comment on this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel happy learning always best of luck